Hi right, guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Outside the lane where it was 3-1, I've got Liam with me. Liam, you must be cold in that Spurs shirt, I would have thought, but maybe warmed up by that performance and victory. It's fantastic. I was, I was more happy with the signs we brought in, in the summer, such as Ali and Older World and such as, and the defence in a hole, even though we conceded and didn't keep the clean sheet. I think it's improved so much over the last few seasons and not playing Fazio as a bonus, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, I was well happy. I was a bit tense towards the end, obviously, when it was 2-1. But when Kane wrapped up, I, I've lost my throat. I, I'm Too excited. buzzing. Yeah, buzzing. to be honest, something I haven't mentioned yet is obviously this is another example of a game this season where we've got points where last season we got turned over by tactics. Timmy Sherwood in that one, Aston Villa 1-0 at home last year. So that's good. That just shows the improvement of the team this season, doesn't it? How far do you think this side can go this year? Champions League, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I think we've got the talent and the youth. And obviously Hodgson's always at our games because um, the young English talent we have. But... Yeah. Just keep watch your space, like for other teams who might watch Spurs on or whatever. Just watch out for Spurs. We're doing it. Very, very confident. Okay, just last thing going into the game, the North London Derby Sunday. I just want a scoreline prediction from you. What's the score going to be on Sunday? It'd be tough because of Anderlecht during the week, but you got to go for a win, yeah. Especially over Woolwich, you got to do it. Two 0 Two 0 You heard it here first, guys. Let us know if you agreed with what I had to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurs on TV. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Thanks thank a lot. You.